Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. I'm Jay, and today we're doing a Tubi list. We're doing top five obscure horror gems from the 90s that you can watch right now on Tubi. Now this next one is probably the most obscure on this list, and some people might say that it's not even a 90s movie because it was released in 2019 or 2020, but that isn't necessarily the case because it is a 90s movie. It just was never released. It's called Masked Mutilator. It's a wrestling horror film. We have a review of this one. You can check that out. I'll put the card up. I don't know what the full story is, but essentially it was shot in the 90s, the early 90s, and it was just never released. It is now on Blu-ray. It never got another release until recently, which is so weird. But there's no denying that it's a 90s movie. And so when we watched it, it caught us completely off guard because we're like, wow, they really captured the 90s extremely well. We had no idea that it was actually filmed way back then. We thought this was a new release film. It absolutely is not. It even has James DeBello in, I think, his first on-screen role, which is like the guy from Detroit Rock City. One of the main characters is Glenn Hedrick from Sci-Fi's Face Off. He's one of the judges there. And he's also like an effects master as well, but like, that's where most people would know him from. And he's like a prominent character in this. It's awkward, it's strange, and it's about a wrestler who accidentally killed an opponent in the ring. And then he ends up like working in a group home and somebody in a mask is killing people in the group home. And so they assume that it's this wrestler guy who is the director Brick Bronski, who's been in WWE and he's in some like trauma movies like Sergeant Kabuki Man and Class of Newcomb High 2 and 3. We also have Jeff Sabak from WCW and NWA. And we also have Doug Flex Yazinski from ECW. The movie is extremely predictable, hilariously so. You'll see, everybody has very distinct builds in the film and they're trying to just throw a mask on one of the characters who's clearly more jacked and huge, and they're trying to pretend like you don't know who it's going to be, and it's amazing. But the fact that this is available on Tubi makes it even better because now more people can experience it. You know